Hey, it's Lori. Um, have you been trying to understand what faith is exactly? Um, have you been trying to understand it in general lately or, um, you know, trying to master it or, you know, it just seems like all the successful people um, seem to master this and it all seems to be re revolved around it, whether in life in general, relationships, spirituality, um, even business. And, um, and so, you know, pe you know, you've even heard the, the people tell you, you got to have a little more faith. You got to trust more. You got to believe more. Um, so what is it exactly? And, um, how does it lead to success? Well, I've been really excited about all the things I've been finding out, um, about it in my journey. And I definitely am excited to share it with you. So, Let's look at um, defining what faith is. Well, I can definitely, um, me being a Christian, I, I definitely, the first place I think of is, is the Bible. And usually the way um, faith is, is, is defined in the Bible is um, in Hebrews 11.1. 1. It, it's uh, that faith is the substance of things hoped for. Things, um, it's, the, it's the substance of things unseen. And, and then, um, as I've been learning more about um, faith, um, it's also, it's basically talking about believing in something uh, before it even exists, before it even arrives. And so, um, but how does that happen? How, how do you believe when it's not there? You know, we are just so caught up in, in just the kinesthetics, the all the senses you know that's how we truly experience things and that's how we we find evidence for um, making things work or deciding or determining if something's gonna fail or if something's going to succeed right but we have to all of a sudden incorporate faith which is the substance of things unseen um, believing in something before it even happens so if we're so caught up with, you know, believing in things that we see, how can we incorporate something that causes us to um, have to believe before we see it? Well, what I've been learning is, I learned three interesting quotes, and maybe you've heard them. Um, one is, a dog does not bark at a parked car. <laughs> um, I always laugh at that one, it's a little silly, but uh, the other one is, um, a ship has to be moving before it, it can be steered in the right path. And um, the most interesting one that I learned was that um, that a rocket, when it gets shot up into space, 90% of the time it is off course. But it needs to be moving in order to be steered back into the right direction. So what is the key, what is the, the one thing in common that we see within these three quotes? It's the action. It's the movement. It has to be moving before the results come. And that is one of those things where I just had a light bulb moment. You know, in order for faith to work, believing in something that is not seen, it has to be, you have to be moving somewhere. You have to be taking massive action. You have to be taking some type of action and the other part is, what is faith? It is believing. And you have to truly get to a point where you believe. Well, how do we believe in, in something? How do we get to believe in something? Well, it's been known that repetition of, of things eventually gets in our subconscious. It creates uh, new pathways in our brain. And eventually, it just becomes a part of us. And so our subconscious, if we're not used to a certain uh, experience, if we are not used to hearing, um, you know, certain things, then it, it's, a hard, it's a hard thing for us to believe in whatever we need to believe in. So what is the secret to that? Repetition. Um, you know they, that you hear garbage in, garbage out, good things you good things go in good things start being expressed and so the repetition of 
good things, things that, um, that inspire belief in, in finding success in whatever area in your life, that's the things that you have to be listening to, seeing, um, experiencing. And when you experience this, let's say, for example, you know, it, um, a, a big part of it is creating a goal, creating something that you want to accomplish, writing it down and adding, adding your five senses. Because it's shown that the more senses that, that you, you incorporate into that goal or that experience that you want to eventually accomplish, that will create an experience within you and that will create a belief and the repetition of this will eventually help to get in your subconscious and it'll be a lot over time you actually start to believe it so for example uh, you create a goal in you know um, creating a business and or you create a goal in in the next 30 days uh, in the next 30 days, you want to um, get up early in the morning, which is something that I, I work on daily. Um, well, you actually would write a goal down, and you would actually write it down in as if it's already happened. So you have to, and then you incorporate all the senses. So it's kind of like a story. Um, you have to create a goal that you can actually visually, can, that is kinesthetic. You can see it. You can see it in your mind. It creates a picture in your mind. Um, and so you could say, um, in 30 days from now, on such and such date, the alarm will, will set. I can hear the ringing in my ears. I, my body is feeling a, a bit droopy, but I get up and, um, and within minutes I am awake and I'm doing all the things that I need to do because I've woken up this morning and I've been doing it every single day straight. And the experience is wonderful and you just add as much detail as you can to that goal. And, um, and I've been learning a lot of this through um, how to set goals for business, how to set your income, and, um, and you can also apply it to your spiritual walk with God or um, your spiritual journey in general. Where do you want to achieve? You have to know why you want to achieve it. You have to know the purpose. You have to have that clear, specific direction. Writing it down, adding the, kinest the kinesthetics, the five senses, and um, and then um, and then reading it every single day, experiencing it. Almost, you know, you have to like. Let's say you're gonna. I'm gonna be sitting down in a chair. I can feel the chair. I can feel my feet in the rug, kind of thing. Adding lots of detail to it, and so with enough repetition, um, you actually start to believe it. Well, what does this have to do with faith and, and, and um, what does that have to do with faith? Well, a lot of it is creating that belief. You know, at first we don't have that belief. Um, creating it. And what creates it is that action. Taking action. And um, not letting the negative thoughts and everything you know about it get in the way. The minute a negative thought comes, replace it with that belief go over those goals over and over again so I hope this helps I, I challenge you to try this whatever goal you are um, trying to create think about the lifestyle you want to live think about um, what you want to accomplish in life it is actually very possible if you just believe and so I hope that these principles um, help in applying faith to your life um, I'm really excited about all the things that I'm learning. I'm learning every day, just even um, creating this video, it takes faith for me. And um, I believe that, that if you take this application, it will help you so much and it will bring so much success. But you have to believe it. And you have to take that action 
in grabbing this and trying it out for yourself, whether in your life in general, your business, your health, your spirituality, and, um, and I challenge you to try that each and every day, write out specific goals and things like that. So um, I encourage you to do that. If you want to know more, definitely click the link below. This is where I'm learning about all these things, you know, I, and it's just, it's not only um, getting into the, the way I, I do my business, but it, it's applying, I'm learning, it's actually spilling over into so many parts of my life, and I've just been so blessed with it. So, anyway, signing off. I will see you later. Bye.